Hello everyone, welcome to the Morrowind Book Club. Last time we finished uh, that shelf, that shelf, that book there, that book there, this shelf, this shelf, and now we're working on the final shelf. Thank God! No wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank the- no, which, which- pick a god. Pick- pick a Tamrielic god and thank them. Uh, because we're gonna get started on- on Oblivion. I know, actually, I feel like we've read this book before, but I- don't have it on my list, and it's possible because I did read some books in Daggerfall that we've read this one in Daggerfall, so... Um, if you can tell me if we've already read this one in Daggerfall, please do so. But we're gonna read it again because it's not on my list, and I don't see it in my- my Morrowind playthrough, so... Yeah. On Oblivion. By Morian Zenas. It is improper, however customary, to refer to the denizens of the dimension of oblivion as demons. This practice probably dates to the Alessian doctrines of the first era, Prophet Maruk, which rather amusingly forbade traffic with demons and then neglected to explain what demons were. I, I, I mean, I, demons or diamonds? Diamonds. Whatever. All right. It is most probable that diamond is a misspelling or uh, et, et, etymological rendition of Daedra, the old elven word for those strange, powerful creatures of uncertain motivation who hail from the dimension of oblivion. Daedra is actually the plural form. The singular is Daedroth. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I, it was not that long ago. I had this question. I was like, wait a second. Daedroth, isn't that the, the big alligator looking thing? And I, I was a little bit mi mi um, mixed up, uh, but uh, here we, we have it cleared up that Daedra is plural and Daedroth, even though it is referring to a, the alligator type, can also uh, technically be used as the singular for all Daedra. Good to note. Or no. Good to know. I'm, I'm making a note that I know this. All right. In a later tract by King Hale, the Pious of Skyrim, almost a thousand years after the publication of the original doctrines, the evil machinations of his political enemies were compared to the wickedness of the demons of Oblivion. Their depravity equals that of Sanguine himself. Sanguine. Sanguine. The, 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 the person we're trying to get all the um, artifacts from that belong to whatever. Yes. Items. Um, see the Moreg Tongue I'll play through uh, for more information on that. Uh, they are cruel as Boethia, calculating as Moleg Bao, and mad as Sheograph. Hail the Pious thus long-windedly introduced four of the Daedra Lords to written record. But the written record is not, after all, the best way to research Oblivion and the Daedra who inhabit it. Those who traffic with diamonds uh, seldom wish it to be a matter of public account. Nevertheless, scattered throughout the liter literature of the first era are diaries, journals, uh, notices for witch burnings, and guides for Daedra Slayers. These I have used as my primary source material. They are at least as trustworthy as the Daedra Lords I have actually summoned and spoken with at length. Apparently, Oblivion is a place composed of many lands, thus the many names for which Oblivion is synonymous. Cold Harbor, Quagmire, Moonshadow. Ooh, I like Moonshadow. That one sounds cool. Actually, Cold Harbor is kind of cool too. Like, I'm gonna go to Cold Harbor. Um, etc. It may be correctly supposed that each land of Oblivion is ruled over by one prince. The Daedra Princes, whose names appear over and over in ancient records, though this is not an infallible test of their authenticity or explicit existence, to be sure, are the aforementioned Sanguine, Boethia, Mulegbal, and Sheograth. And in addition, Azura, Mafala, Clavicus Vile, uh, Vernima, Malakath, Hor uh, Hormius, or Her uh, Hermaeus, or Hermias, or Herma, there seems to be no one except its spelling. Um, I feel like, I feel like there was, like, some inconsistency with, uh, some, something in the lore, and they're like, we're gonna use this book as an opportunity to make the, uh, the correction. Uh, that it's all referring to the same one. Mora, Namira, up, uh, oof, he, <laughs> G Gigalag, Nocturnal, Mehrun's Dagon, and Periate. Periate? Periate. Periate. 
Now, from my experience, Daedra are a very mixed lot. It is almost impossible to categorize them as a whole, except for their immense power and penchant for extremism. Extremism. Uh, be that be that as it may, I have here attempted to do so in a few cases, purely for the sake of scholastic expediency. Merun's Dagon, Malag Bal, Periot, Periot, Boethia, and Avernima are among the most consistently demonic of the Daedra, in the sense that their spheres seem to be destructive in nature. The other Daedra can of course be equally dangerous, but seldom purely for the sake of destruction, as these five can. Nor are these previous five identical in their destructiveness. Merun's Dagon seems to prefer natural disasters, earthquakes and volcanoes, for venting his anger. Malag Bal uh, elects the employment of other Daedra, and Boethia inspires the arms of mortal warriors. Periot, Periot, Periot's sphere seems to be pestilence and um, Vernima's torture. In preparation for the next installment, ooh, there's supposed to be an L there, uh, of this in this series, I will be investigating two matters that have intrigued me since I began my career as a career as a Daedra researcher. The first is on one particular Daedroth, perhaps yet another Daedra prince, referred to in multiple articles of uh, Ikunabula as Hercene. Ah, I, I believe we've actually had interactions with Hercene as we got Hercene's ring uh, in Daggerfall. Hercene has been called the Huntsman of the Princes and the Father of Man Beasts, but I have yet to find anyone who can summon him. The other and perhaps more doubtful goal, I have is to find a practical means for mortal men to pass through to oblivion. So wait for the sequel. It has always been my philosophy that we need only fear that which we do not understand. And with that thought in mind, I ever pursue my objective. And there we have our reading on, on oblivion. Um, if you liked the book, you liked the reading, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't. Very sorry, leave a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. You got any, any a little insight? You got, uh, I don't know, anything. Just, just drop it down there. Your favorite way to, your favorite sandwich recipe or something. Why do I always ask for recipes? I can't think of anything else on the fly, sorry. I'm not very good at improvisation. Uh, anyways, whatever. Dro drop crap in the, the comment section. I don't care. Uh, I I'll read it. I, I don't care what you put there. Well, maybe I do. Anyways, I've gone on too long. Uh, until, you know, I read whatever you put in the comment section. Uh, until the next book, I'd like to ask you all to game on.